I've been in Wisconsin for less than 24 hours. I have, I have, <laughs> see that kind of, someone shouted lucky you, and see that kind of self-deprecation <laughs> is what you're famous for. I had cheese curds in 100% of my meals. I feel, I feel great, I have discovered something. What I have discovered is that beneath this gay, Jewish, coastal elite exterior <laughs> is the digestive tract of a Midwestern Obama Trump voter. <laughs> oh, you're applauding that. Because um, speaking of Obama Trump voters, <laughs> apology not accepted. Face what you did. You have given us Paul Ryan. You have given us Scott Walker. And, and you have given us Donald Trump. Two of your main exports are dairy and assholes. Let's talk about Scott Walker. So he enacts Act 10, attacking the state's unions and undermining the rights of working people. He cuts education by billions. He fights to privatize the public schools and universities. He, forced, he forces cuts to teacher salaries. And this is something I find, Boo is right. We hate that here. He tried, I, <laughs> this, this one's amazing. I love, I, <laughs> he tried to change the mission of the University of Wisconsin from improving the human condition and searching for truth to meeting the state's workforce needs. <laughs> I just, <laughs> vote for me, you interchangeable cogs. <laughs> vote for me, you miasma of productivity I can sap. You, you peons meet the state's workforce needs. How grand, how nice that would be for all of you to meet the state's workforce needs. Why did you come to the University of Wisconsin? Well, I thought a lot about it and I was very interested in meeting the state's workforce needs. What are you majoring in? Um, killing the part of myself that feels. <laughs> also, under your former governor, Wisconsin joined the lawsuit against the ACA, rejected Medicaid money because he cared more about making a case running for president than he did about this state. And that sucks, because he was so bad at running for president that people said he should drop out to make room for fucking Jeb. People looked at Jeb Bush and Scott Walker and they said, we need the one with charisma. <laughs> Why are you applauding? He represented all of you. <laughs> oh, you tried, did you? Oh, oh, you tried. Okay, good. Thanks for your, thanks for your efforts. Sorry, thank you. Only one of you said sorry. And of course, finally, so not only is he stripping the government for parts and undermining workers, not only is he trying to privatize institutions, he's trying to undermine the democracy itself. Walker also passes a draconian voter ID law. <laughs> they redraw the district lines to make the elections less competitive. They undermine election oversight and after losing, Despite what the voters in this state wanted, they pass a bill to enshrine their politics and their policies 
forever, despite what every vote, despite what the voters in Wisconsin had to say. And I know that that lawsuit's continuing, and it's very exciting because it's such fucking bullshit. <laughs> that is the experiment that Scott Walker ran in this state. And it's the experiment Donald Trump is running right now, to strip the government for parts, to crush working people, to suppress votes and campaign on division and fear to win. And, and they killed your train. Scott Walker killed a train that would have fucked. Okay. I forgot about that. Why did conservatives turn on trains? Ayn Rand loved trains. That book was about trains. So that is the conservative experiment that you guys rebuked here in Wisconsin, but the fight continues. Uh, there is a big fight in Wisconsin, a judicial race here in April. How many of you guys have been following this? We need to get Lisa Neubauer elected to the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Losing this seat would guarantee a conservative majority on the state Supreme Court when redistricting is done in 2021. That will, put the, that will jeopardize the congressional map. That'll, that'll jeopardize the state legislative map. So everybody here needs to do their part to elect Lisa Neubauer. You can donate, you can make calls, you can write letters from anywhere in the country, and you can knock on doors if you live in Wisconsin or nearby. Go to swingleft.com slash Wisconsin to learn more and get involved. The next two years, Wisconsin is going to play such a big role, not only in what happens here, but what happens in national politics. Listen, all right? Let's just be honest. We're caught a bit flat-footed by what happened here in 2016. I feel like everyone here was pretty surprised when they woke up. Let's admit it, would have knocked on a couple more fucking doors. <laughs> Can't make the same mistakes in 2020 that we made in 2016. You guys have won a battle here by electing a new governor, a new lieutenant governor. You can help win that seat on the Supreme Court and you can do your part to organize in the next two years because listen, all right? We wake up on that Wednesday, November 2020, and Wisconsin shits the bed again. Buckle up, you'll never see me again. <laughs> and Tommy and John may want to come, but I won't let us. <laughs>